Reading scientific journals on health, beauty, personal development, and animals is when I'm a cup of tea, and I share what I learn here on my channel. If you wish to deep dive into the topic, you can check out my sources posted in the description box below. Melasma is a common skin condition in which blue-gray or brown patches or spots appear on the skin. It's often referred to as the mask of pregnancy because it's common among pregnant women. Less commonly, it's also called chlorosma. Melasma is not exactly a cause for concern, but it does affect the self-esteem and quality of life of those who have it. There is not a clear cause for melasma, however, people with darker skin have a higher risk than those with lighter skin. Sensitivity to progesterone and estrogen are also a factor in developing the condition. This means that hormone therapy, pregnancy, and birth control pills can all cause melasma. Other possible causes include thyroid disease and stress. Another cause is sun exposure. This is due to the effect of the sun's UV rays on melanocytes, cells that produce melanin and control pigment. Melasma that is caused by a trigger such as birth control pills or pregnancy usually goes away without treatment. When the sufferer gives birth or stops taking birth control pills, then melasma can disappear. However, for some people, their melasma lasts for years or worse, a lifetime. Depending on the person, melasma may disappear without treatment, resolve after a few months of treatment, or stay on the skin permanently. Most of the time, it disappears on its own, especially if you protect your skin from sunlight and other light sources. Unfortunately, as of filming this video, there's no method to completely remove dermal pigmentation. So there's no treatment that will completely get rid of melasma right away. What sets melasma apart from other kinds of hyperpigmentation is its association with hormonal changes. This is also why melasma is more difficult to treat. Melasma is also a recurring skin condition, especially if you don't take the appropriate steps to protect your skin from sun exposure. Here are five natural treatments that may help reduce melasma according to limited studies. First in the list is white mulberry oil. Scientifically called Morris alba, white mulberry is a small tree that's indigenous to northern China. The berries can be consumed whole or turned into wine. You can also make tea out of the roots and leaves. In September 2011, a randomized controlled trial was published in the U.S. National Library of Medicine website showing that topical application of 75% white mulberry oil caused a significant reduction in melasma in 50 participants. 2. Pycnogenol. This compound is officially derived from the French maritime pine which is cultivated on the southwest coast of France. It is standardized to contain 65 to 75 percent procyanidins, which is a class of flavonoids and polyphenols that may exhibit anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. In a clinical trial published in September 2002, 30 women with melasma took one 25 mg tablet of pycnogenol with meals three times daily. After 30 days of treatment, the average area of melasma in patients significantly reduced. The general effective percentage reached 80%. Moreover, there were no side effects recorded. The baseline and 30-day results of the urine and blood tests were all normal. Because pycnogenol may boost the immune system, it may not be advisable for individuals suffering from rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and other immune disorders. It's best to speak with your doctor before starting any pycnogenol supplement. 3. Silymarine Cream Silymarine is a flavonolignin extracted from milk thistle that prevents depletion of glutathione in the liver. Milk thistle is a popular herb native to the Mediterranean region. It's a member of the Asteraceae plant family, which also includes other plants like sunflowers and daisies. In February 2019, a comparative study was published in which 42 adult women with melasma were distributed to three equal groups with 14 participants each. 
The first group was given a 0.7% silymarine cream treatment. The second group was given a 1.4% silymarine cream treatment. And the third group was given a 4% hydroquinone cream. The treatment lasted for three months and melasma significantly decreased in all three groups at the end of the treatment period. However, there were no recorded differences in the therapeutic response among the three groups. It's worth noting, however, that with silymarine, there were no adverse reactions, while hydroquinone caused some significant side effects. For niacinamide, otherwise known as nicotinamide, niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3. It's an essential nutrient that exhibits anti-inflammatory effects. In July 2011, a double-blind randomized clinical trial was published wherein 27 patients with melasma were randomly given 4% niacinamide cream on one side of their face and 4% hydroquinone cream on the other side. This lasted for 8 weeks. The results from both creams showed significant improvement in melasma. However, niacinamide did not show any significant adverse reactions and was well received by the patients. Lastly, microneedling with a topical vitamin C. Microneedling is a dermal roller procedure that uses tiny sterilized needles to create microscopic punctures in the skin to stimulate new collagen for firmer and more toned skin. 2019 study, 30 female participants with melasma underwent six sessions of microneedling with topical application of vitamin C every two weeks. There were improvements in all participants after the sessions. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Please consider subscribing. Your support means a lot to me. You may also want to hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.